Hi friends, welcome to Pre-Dev Tech. Let's talk about what's new in iPadOS 26. To update, just head over to Settings, General, Software Update. You should see the iPadOS 26 update right there. If it doesn't appear, simply scroll down to the bottom and it will show up. On the left side of my screen, you can also see the list of all supported iPads. Now let's explore the home screen customization features. If you long press on the home screen, you'll see a customize option. Uh, from here, you can enable the all new glass effect available in light or dark styles, resize icons to make them larger or smaller, or switch back to the default icon size anytime. Uh, try out the brand new tinted icons, which let you change the color of your icons to red, green, yellow, or any shade you like. You can even adjust the intensity of the tint for a more subtle or bold look, and it doesn't stop there. The notification panel also gets the same glass effect, giving your iPad a sleek, modern, and consistent design. Now let's talk about the all-new windowing system in iPadOS 26. For this, go to Settings, watch Multitasking and Gestures. Here, you'll find three options that let you control how apps open and behave. Full screen, just like the older iPads where every app opens in full screen, similar to a big iPhone. No window customization here. Windowed apps, this new mode lets you open apps in resizable windows so you can place one above another and adjust their size just like on Mac OS. Stage Manager 2.0, a, a more advanced multitasking mode with improved window control. In windowed apps mode, you'll notice new traffic light style icons for close, minimize, and expand. If you long press the expand button, you can rearrange apps into layouts, top, bottom, left, right or even split into three or four equal sections. You can also manually resize windows to fit your workflow. Another big change, you can now swipe up from the bottom to see your recent windows, replacing the old slide over feature, which Apple has removed in iPadOS 26. Now here you can see the all new split view in iPadOS 26, where you can place apps side by side, similar to the old split screen. Just drag an app to the left and it will snap to the left side. Similarly, drag an app to the right and it will snap to the right. Now you can see the new macOS style top menu bar in iPadOS 26. This lets you adjust different settings for each app, just like on a Mac. For example, in the Notes app, you can format text into bullet points, headings, or lists. In Chrome, you can open a new tab, access bookmarks, or start a private window, similar to Safari. You can also move windows around to the left, right, center, top, or bottom for a more flexible layout. Now let's talk about the all new lock screen and 3D wallpaper in iPadOS 26. You can customize wallpapers directly from settings. The new glass clock lets you change its style, adjust the size, and even pick different colors. For 3D wallpapers, simply enable the depth effect from the bottom right corner. This makes the wallpaper elements pop out with a layered look and you can easily switch images from the same menu. Now let's talk about the new mouse and pointer updates. Instead of the old round circle, iPadOS 26 finally gives us a proper mouse cursor, and honestly it looks so much cleaner. You can also customize how the mouse works. Just head over to settings, then trackpad and mouse. From there you can switch between natural scrolling or the regular style, and even increase the speed of the cur cursor. Another great feature is inside accessibility under pointer control. Here you can actually change the border color of the cursor to white, blue, red, green, yellow, or even orange. You can also adjust the thickness of the border so the pointer feels exactly the way you want. You can now also customize extra mouse buttons if your mouse has more than the usual two. To do this, go to Settings, then Accessibility, then Devices, and select your mouse and turn on Assistive Touch. Once that's enabled, press the additional button you want to customize. For example, in my case, I've set one button for left scroll and another for the home function. And as you can see, it works perfectly. There's a drawback to as your beautiful mouse cursor turn into circle. Hope Apple will fix soon. Now let's see how Stage Manager 2.0 works. Here you can see that besides the windowed app mode, you can also activate Stage Manager and easily bring the opened apps into the windowed app section. Now let's talk about the all new files app. This is honestly a game changer. You can now view and manage files just like on macOS. It's super easy to filter files by tag, size, kind, or date, and you can even assign separate columns for better organization. 
You can also change the view of your files, choose between list view, column view, or icon view. Another great feature, you can pin any folder to the dock. Just long press a folder, scroll down, and select add to dock. For example, I pinned my downloads folder for quick access, so now I can instantly find what I need. You can also choose which app opens your files. For example, here I'm opening an image in the sketchbook app. And if you want, you can make it permanent. Just go to get info and set your preferred app to always open that file type. Customization is also improved. You can change the color and icon of folders. Uh, like here I made my Chrome folder red. You can also drag your favorite folders into the dock, though app folders like Chrome can't be added, which feels like a small drawback. Another amazing upgrade, external SSD support. You can connect an SSD and transfer files at super fast speeds. For example, I transferred a 2.5 GB file in less than 10 seconds. And here's one more big feature, background tasks. Now you can start a large download or export a video, close Safari or switch apps, and the process will keep running in the background. Here you can see I'm downloading a large software file, close Safari, and when I came back later, it was still downloading. This new files app in iPadOS 26 really makes the iPad feel like a proper laptop replacement. Now let's talk about another big addition. The Preview app from macOS is finally on iPad. With Preview, you can create a new document to brainstorm ideas, draw with Apple Pencil, write notes, or highlight important points. You can also open an image and instantly remove the background. Or open a PDF to sign, highlight, crop, or annotate. Another handy feature, just swipe from the left corner with Apple Pencil to capture a screenshot and start marking it up right away. Now let's talk about the new additions to the Apple Pencil Pen Tool. Apple has introduced a charcoal style stroke, giving your sketches and notes a more natural, textured look. You can easily adjust the thickness, making lines thinner or bolder depending on your style. This makes drawing, shading, and even handwriting on iPad feel more realistic and expressive than ever before. Now let's talk about the all-new extended monitor support. You can connect your iPad to any compatible monitor and use it as a standalone display, just like macOS. This is true extended display support. You can arrange the iPad's position, adjust the monitor brightness, choose more space or zoomed view, all directly from your iPad. Let me show you. I can open multiple Chrome tabs, play a 4K video, and multitask smoothly across both screens. This feature makes the iPad feel like a true Mac replacement. What do you think? Another quick feature, you can now select your input device. So if you connect an external microphone, you can easily choose it as your preferred mic from the settings. That's all for today. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more. And don't forget to check out my other iPadOS 26 videos on the channel for more tips and setups.